happy holidays. It's still the ho yes, it is still the holidays. Today I am going to give you my top four expert, super secret, super fabulous, super efficient. I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> Shoot. Uh, tips on how to take a better photo or selfie. Because in the world of narcissism, of us taking photos of ourselves and posting them for the world to see and judge, I think we could all use a tip or two on how to take a better photo. These tips are a combination of my own personal tips that work for me and some tips I've gotten from some celebrity clients and celebrity friends. My first tip for you guys is don't be on the end in a group photo. Unless you're an itty bitty teeny weeny and you want to be on the end so you can just like bring up the end and just show your whole look. I personally feel that being on the end sometimes you look bigger. My tip on if you can't make your way to the middle and you have to be on the end is kind to squeeze into people. Actually, I want my husband to come in. Come in. Oh, this is, oh God, I should have did your hair or something. <laughs> this is Matt. So let's say you're on, just pretend there's a bunch of people next to Matt and I'm on the end. I would just get really close and make myself really narrow and then cheese. <laughs> that was funny and very impromptu. We did not plan that at all. But as you can see, smushing your body into the next person will in turn make you look smaller. I know that sounds ridiculous, but you guys know what I'm saying. Just turn to the side and then get a little close to the person next to you. If smushing your body into a group of people is not your style, another thing you can do in photos, whether alone or with a group, is simply cross one leg over the other. As you can see, your legs slightly apart is fine, but when you cross one leg over the other, you narrow your hips and thighs and make it more streamlined. My third tip is for those side poses or your three quarter poses. It's always really flattering to put the weight of the leg that's closest to the camera. So you wanna shift your weight on the leg or the thigh that's closest to the camera instead of putting the weight on the leg that's furthest from the camera. As you can see, for whatever reason, when you put the weight on the leg closest to the camera, it's more elongating than putting it on the back leg. What do you guys think? My fourth and final tip for you guys is a selfie taking tip. And I know there's a lot of experts out there, so you may be able to teach me a thing or two, but a few weeks ago I did a shoot with Molly Sim. She's a famous actress and model, and she gave me this tip, and I felt kind of dumb that I didn't know it because I was like, oh my gosh, that does work. When you are taking a selfie photo, make sure you angle the camera higher above your head rather than lower because the focus is on your face and your head and then the rest of your body kind of fades into the background. I'm particularly a fan of this tip because any angle where from here down can look smaller, I wanna be doing that. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in to this week's video. I hope I gave you a tip or two on how to take a better photo. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below and if you haven't subscribed to me, Come on guys, please. I will put the link right here for you to subscribe. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful and safe New Year's Eve and I hope to see you guys in 2015. Thanks, bye.